I had so many people when I, I mentioned through Twitter and stuff that you guys were, you know, you were going to come on tonight with us. And they're, they're saying, has he ever really cleared the air with that? I mean, do you miss the guys? Are you still friends with them? Uh, is there ever a chance of a reunion with these guys? And, you know, everybody tends to see and read that uh, one of the main reasons was you wanted to stay true to who you were and that somebody in the Travel Channel or, or the Ghost Adventures organization, without being specific, um, basically wasn't being true. That basically wanted to possibly embellish a little evidence or something like that, and you had no part, which is what started the divide. Any chance of us hearing a little bit about that? Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, it's so funny, the topic, to be honest with you, because it was five years ago. What was it, 2014 or whatever? So it kind of amuses me every time I hear, um, you know, are you back on Ghost Ventures? Have you gone back? What's going on? <laughs> it's like, yeah. it's like the end of the cycle. But look, like Ghost Adventures, I absolutely love, right? It was my first baby that I, I made back then. I'm talking about back then. I'm right. not talking about in the present right now, because I have no part since season 10 i was i was at the end of season 10 so moving forward i have no part in the production no part in it in a say no part in it at all so let's just clear that up first off uh second off like man like i i don't know i i was um there's a time of my life where i was very bitter and very uh angry about like the whole entire situation to be honest with you but like i'm at a point in my life i just don't care anymore you know what I mean? It's like you, you get to a certain point where it's like, man, it's like, yeah, let's all talk about it. Like, that's cool. I'm totally cool with it. But I think there's a part of me that it's like the more talk about it becomes more negative. You know what I mean? And there's no reason to be negative anymore, especially when I did nothing wrong. You know what I mean? So it's like people ask, why did you leave? First off, I did not leave. OK, so I never left the show. I never was like, I'm out of here. There was a lot of like in the beginning, it was he wanted more money. He wanted to be in the spotlight. He wanted none of those things are true. I could care less. Like when I first started making the documentary, when I called the three guys up, I said, guys, do you want to go look for ghosts? That's how it started. I wasn't thinking I want to go make a TV show. I want to make like I want to be a Hollywood actor or whatever the freak the case was, you know, I, I didn't care less, man. I've been interested in the paranormal since I was like 12 years old. I remember talking to my, um, my sister's godfather when I was uh, 14 years old about Art Bell. They grew up in uh, Nevada and they would talk about area 51. I was super interested in UFOs and paranormal phenomena and um, uh, extraterrestrials in space um just very fascinated about all that so from a young age i was very curious about the mysteries of like the unknown you know and haunted locations um so through my life it's it's always kind of been in my blood regardless if i was like a paranormal investigator or whatever we want to label ourselves as you know it's all words at the end of the day that we create as human beings so really regardless i'm just interested in the unknown you know but i mean you know, it, it, it's an interesting question to bring up because for one, you know, I think I think the truth is what needs to be told. Um, but I also think the truth might just more cause more negative BS. And really, it does. It just doesn't matter. Like, honestly, like, what's the point? No, of I... Like, I mean, I, I'm just saying from like, you know, someday I'll talk about like really like line for line how things went down, but I really just I just don't care. Yeah. I really don't. I'm working on so much stuff right now that I'm excited about. And look, like those guys are doing their thing. That's cool. Um I now, just, now when you're ready to do that, you're gonna do that right here live. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll do it live. You just yeah. sweep, sweep the right up from under now. Here. Yeah, sweep, sweep the rug out from under me, and I'll, I'll still, I'll still catch well, my feet. No, no, I, I, man, honestly, and I appreciate it. Like, I don't, like, I'm an open book. I really am. And I mean, if you meet me and we talk about it, it's cool. I just, I just feel like there's a part of my like life right now that there's so many other great things to be talking about than like old news. You know what I mean? But it's like, um, it's like one of those things, man. I, I really appreciated what Ghost Ventures was and what it turned into um, when I when I was doing it. And I, I it was my blood, sweat and tears. Honestly, when I worked, when I say blood, sweat and tears, I truly mean that when I made the documentary, when I did season one, season two, season three, when I was editing it, when I was shooting it, when I was dragging my own camera through the airport, when I had 50 mini DV tapes that I was carrying around. I didn't have help. I was doing all this stuff 
like on my on my by myself man like it was rugged and i loved every second of it you know it's a lot of hard work and i really just love the experience and and finding the evidence and looking for the facts and the histories and the locate like three dudes running around like crazy locations that everybody oh, yeah. wanted that, that was like i love the raw elements of that back then well, you know what i mean shows yeah it, it, so, it was so great and it's so fun it's so yeah. fun to go back to those first shows and and i i know we want to move on and we've got a lot of other stuff to go with the hour we've got you tonight but just to kind of clarify one of the things you said that i don't think a lot of people understand or knew that it was basically you were more of the creator and the founder of Ghost Adventures. Uh, a lot of people now assume that uh, uh, Zach was and was the founder and basically found you to come on as, as as an extra investigator. But that's not the case, was it? This was your baby, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, really how um, – yeah, there was some talk on Twitter. And I think that it, uh, um, ignited from individuals that were like, he's not a part of it and tried to sweep me under the rug at a certain point. You know what I mean? And, and I just, man, if you want to know the truth about stuff, just come to the person and ask me face to face or something like that, you know, right. off like, off like stuff. But I mean, the facts are that like how it really happened was I was in my little apartment in Las Vegas after I graduated college in 2004. And um, like I said, I was fascinated by the paranormal. And I actually took a, um, a when I was on spring break in, in college, I took a little trip. I, I borrowed my uh, roommate's car because I didn't have a car and I drove it all the way up to Virginia City, haunted mining towns, Tonopah, Goldfield. Um, I went to Riley, I, I went to um, little town of Rachel near Area 51 and drove as close yeah. as I could, like everybody else on Area 51. Like I took that trip in 2001, I think it was, and I had a little VHS camera that I brought from my, my parents, gave it to me because I was like filming everything and you know. I was so curious and I was filming Mizpah Hotel back then. And I saw this anomaly hovering inside the Mizpah Hotel. And this is when it was abandoned and closed back then. And there was this anomaly hovering and I have it on my little VHS camera filming it going window from window from window inside the location. And then we did years later, we did um, an episode uh, for Ghost Ventures there at Mizpah. And we included that footage from back then into it. It's really cool. Um, my point is, is, I did that years later. I met Aaron in a college class. He snuck into my college class and we befriended. The teacher's like, hey, you want to do some like short films and work on some projects? Work with this guy. And it was me. So him and I, that's how we became friends. And we were friends for a long time. Um, and I met Zach later. He was a wedding DJ. And uh, that's how I met Zach. And um, basically one night I was uh, kicking around the idea of, you know how it all started is I was watching this special it was on um the news a news channel did a special on the sally house and i was watching it and i was watching the guy be uh, being scratched and the yeah, scratch was showing right. up on right. the news report and i i was like holy moly this like i was watching i was like all right mm -hmm. the news is filming this this is a broadcast from the news i'm watching it happen right in front of me there's no like edits or camera tricks i'm like trying to figure it out right like i'm, I'm such a logical thinker so i'm like that's wild that kind of put a little like, man, if that's possible, that's a little scary, right? And I was all into the paranormal. So I said, you know what? I want to go look for ghosts. I want to see if ghosts really exist. That, that's how it all started. So what do I do? I called, up, um, I called up Zach. I said, hey, dude, you want to go look for ghosts? I went to this haunted mining town in Virginia City, you know, a couple of years ago. Uh, all these places, there's places we could drive to. I got a camera, you know, I, I was trying to make some money at the time. I was working at like Comp USA. I was making like shit money and I was filming like <laughs> wedding videos on the side. You know what I mean? I like I was overqualified. I graduated with high honors and like film and stuff like that. And I, I couldn't even get a job in production or anything. It was wild, but it was my journey. I think it was meant to be, you know, it right. ignited a fire under me. And I was like, man, I'm working at this job nine to five let's go out and explore the world. Let's go look for ghosts. And I told him that I got excited and I was telling him this passion and I have a camera, you know, I saved up all my money and I had a camera from doing construction work and I can film it all. I know how to hit the record button on it, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and I built my little computer and I, I um, just, I self-taught myself editing with AB editing back there when first Adobe Premiere came out. So I knew how to like construct um, some, some video and, 
And then I said, man, we should bring another camera guy. I know this awesome guy is funny. He's awesome. And I know my buddy, Aaron, he probably loved to come along. And that, that I called him up and I, you know, the three of us jumped in a little Scion car that was Zach's and we drove up the Haunted Mine Towns and filmed everything for like a year straight. That's how it all started. Yeah. And then, and then the name Ghost Adventures actually originated from like, I was sitting around my apartment and I had all this like footage and this is way later. And I'm like, man, what are we like? What am we? Cause I didn't even know what a documentary was. I didn't even know what we were doing. It's like a lump of mud of mini DV tapes. And I'm like, wait, this is amazing. This evidence, I don't understand. I didn't even understand conceptual ideas about like paranormal in the sense, like a B, like, what is this? I, I know we captured some of it. I don't understand this. So we built a narrative behind evidence based uh, footage and basically it turned into what it is, which is super compelling, I feel still in. And basically I said, man, it's ghosts and we're going on an adventure. Why don't we just call it ghost adventures? And I remember I, I remember them telling me Dude, that that sounds like a amusement park. That sounds like a ride. I'm like, no, no, no ghost adventures. It's wild. And boom, stuck. So that's what it was.